Embrace a vision where the stars are not out of reach, where humanity soars beyond the boundaries of conventional space travel. Welcome to the awe-inspiring world of the Plasma Dynamics and Electric Propulsion Laboratory at the University of Michigan. Hi, I'm Grace, a PhD candidate, and here at Pebble, we are a collective of dreamers, explorers, and innovators who are passionately dedicated to unraveling the mysteries of in-space propulsion. We research, design, and test electric propulsion devices with the unwavering belief that they hold the key to transforming the future of space travel. Space travel has always been a monumental challenge, a frontier that beckons humanity with its mysteries and possibilities. Conventional chemical rocket engines have constrained our ambitions, burdened by the limitations of vast fuel requirements, restricting our reach and scientific exploration. But what if I told you there is a brighter path ahead? Enter electric propulsion, a concept born in the 1960s which has already reshaped the landscape of Earth orbiting satellite propulsion technology. In its essence, electric propulsion harnesses the power of electric and magnetic fields to propel plasma and ionized gas as a propellant. This acceleration of particles generates a formidably low thrust, but electric propulsion has a high mass efficiency. The acceleration of particles is dictated by the electrical power available on board a spacecraft as opposed to chemical rockets, which are limited by the energy stored in a chemical bond. To date, low-power electric propulsion systems have graced commercial and governmental missions. Commercially, these devices maintain the SpaceX Starlink Internet constellations orbiting Earth, and from NASA, the Dawn mission utilized ion engines over its 11-year journey, venturing boldly into our solar system's asteroid belt. Yet now, the dawn of a new age is upon us, as we contemplate the expansion of humanity to the realm of planet Mars. A voyage to Mars necessitates a megawatt-class spacecraft, an uncharted territory awaiting the touch of innovation. And here, on this path less travelled, we search for a thruster architecture to rise to the challenge. A potential champion that can boast a small spatial footprint while generating enough power to guide us to the Red Planet. And in parallel, as this future of electric propulsion unfurls before us, we are invited to explore alternative propellant sources. From harnessing Earth's atmosphere for air-breathing propulsion in very low Earth orbit, to the ingenuity of multi-mode propulsion and in-situ resource utilization of the Martian atmosphere or minerals from an asteroid, the possibilities of propellant sources are limitless. The question that guides us is clear. What electric propulsion technology can ascend to high powers without erosion concerns while embracing a diverse range of propellants? Enter the rotating magnetic field thruster, a beacon of hope. Here at Pebble, we champion the rotating magnetic field thruster, an electric propulsion device that couples energy inductively into the plasma. Thus, we are able to alleviate the lifetime limitation created by eroding plasma wetted electrodes, as electrodes are not necessary in the operation of this device. In addition, the rotating magnetic field thruster flaunts the potential to scale abilities of high powers without the need for prohibitively large increase in thruster size or demands from the onboard electrical source. Now, let's delve deeper into its mesmerizing workings. Within the thruster, solenoids craft a steadfast radial magnetic field. As a seed plasma enters the chamber, the sequential firing of antennas orchestrates a rotating magnetic field. This magnetic dance sets the stage for an enchanting ballet of azimuthal electron current. As the particles become ionized, a force interaction propels electrons out of the thruster and ions are summoned to join in the cosmic waltz of thrust generation. Through a 
relentless dedication, our team at Pebble has achieved unprecedented efficiency improvements from 0 to 2.8%, and we are pushing the boundaries of thrust capabilities for such devices as we embrace steady-state RMF operations. This steady-state operation possesses new physics questions about magnetic field functionality, which the next generation of researchers seek to answer through steady-state fluid and circuit models, which will lead to the derivation of new power scaling laws for such thrusters. In conclusion, our quest to unveiling the potential of the rotating magnetic field thruster represents one small step for a PhD student and one giant leap for mankind towards a future in crude space exploration. Together, we shall shatter the confines of the ordinary and make the impossible possible.